Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a mental health update. I feel really artsy today. Like I feel like, I don't know, the beanie with the turtleneck, with the braids is giving like art student, um, film production major. I mean, I was one for a year, two years. I don't know. I did my own braids. They're kind of fucked up. I mean, they look good. The parts are a hot mess, which is <laughs> why I'm wearing a hat. I wear hats every day. <laughs> or I part it and I cover all the parts by like doing it a certain way by like, anyways, okay, hi, hi. Um, mental health check-in, hello. We're doing an update, life updates, mental health check-in, just talking about life and everything. I just wanna fill you guys in on what's been going on since I've been gone. I've been gone for a month, a month. That's a long time for me. I don't usually spend that much time away from YouTube. Not on this channel. The other channel, I get real comfortable taking three months off. This channel, I miss you guys a lot and I just miss creating content and I don't know, it's hard for me so I don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with mental health check-in. It's weird. Um, I'm between an eight and uh, not between, but like I kind of bounce from like eight to like four and I know why. It's because I have been heavily drinking lately because I just moved downtown. We'll get there. I just moved downtown. So it's like, you know, celebratory. Ooh, there's a bar there, there's a bar there, there's a bar there, blah, 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 blah. And A, my body, when I drink a lot, I feel this weird depression. It's like a come down, you know what I mean? B, when I know I'm gonna drink heavily, I don't take my anti-anxiety medication. I don't think that's safe. I think it's irresponsible. Shouldn't be doing it, but I am. What happens is I, don't take the medication because I know if I do and I drink, my body's gonna be like just, it takes it so poorly and I get sick and I like almost black out. I don't like drinking when I'm on the medication. So I just say, okay, I'm drinking tonight, won't be taking my meds today. The problem was I, I was drinking for three days, so I didn't take my medication for three days and then I went to my parents' house and I didn't take my medication for the fourth day and the next thing you know, I'm here. And I'm like, why am I feeling so off and dizzy and depressed? Because my body's out of whack. So. That's where the four out of 10 comes in. The eight out of 10, I believe is to be my true self, which is how I actually feel. I'm actually really fucking happy right now, but the body is not reacting to the meds well, so yeah. <sighs> that was a really rambly way of saying I'm a six. I'm in between four and eight, I'm a six. <laughs> okay, so I moved. I moved downtown. Guys, a lot is happening right now. Can we just, ooh. Guys, guys, I wish I could tell you everything, but some stuff I have to keep off the internet because other people are involved. So I, I just can't spill all the tea. But if you catch me on a live stream after 12 midnight, I might just tell you my whole life story and delete it after and pretend it never happened. Life updates, I moved on October 1st, sorry, November 1st, and I left my apartment. I've been living in that building for two years. I lived on my own there. I lived with my cousin there. I had a boyfriend there. I had a cat there. I had a deep, deep, dark, depressive, depressive phase there. <laughs> I, I went through it in that building. There's lots of love there. There's lots of joy. There's lots of trauma. There's lots of toxicity. Uh, there's a lot of things, but I am moving on and I'm here now and I love it. I fucking love it here. I'm. I'm so happy. It's so small, but it's the perfect size. It's not so small, it's just so, the last one was huge. So it's actually a great size. I like that it's smaller than the last one, oddly enough. I mean, I wish there was a little more storage, but it works, everything fits. Everything just fits. Like, you add one more jacket to my closet and that rod is breaking fits, you know what I mean? So, yeah, everything fits. My desk is just perfectly placed next to my bed. Like, I can't wait to do the furniture department tour for you guys so you guys can see everything. Um, I just want to get some stuff mounted and then I'm going to do that. But yeah, it's really cool. As you can see behind me, there are people. So, I mean, that means that people can see me and then I can see them, which is a little weird sometimes. There is this guy over there that is just at his desk all day, every day. I'm not joking. Everyone that comes over, he's like, how's the guy doing? Is he still there? And like, we all just know him to be at that desk for like, 17 hours a day and then he turns his um he closes his blinds and goes to bed it's the weirdest thing i know he's on adderall he has to be he is hunched over that desk like no tomorrow on the shitty ikea chair and i watch him i feel like he's like my sim character you know i see him he gets his apron on he cooks and then he goes back to the desk that's his whole day that's it just desk kitchen desk kitchen yeah that has nothing to do with me anyways i'm great i'm doing great i've met so many new people um not like living here yet, but like I've just like, I don't know, a lot of my new friends that I made before I moved, I'm just like 
able to get reacquainted with them because I'm in the city, which is really cool. Um, I also I have so much weird shit going on right now. A couple little flings, a couple little guys that I'm just like going on, not going on dates on right now, but just chatting with. Um, there's a whole situation that happened that I will not get into, but I probably will one day. It's fun. It's going to be a funny one. Guys, I wish I could tell you all my business. I wish I could. It, it's not up to me though. It's other people's business too. That's the problem. But apparently Tim Hortons thinks they're Starbucks now. So they have cinnamon caramel oat latte. I mean, mind you, it's kind of good. And I'm not a Tim Hortons girl. I do not fuck with Tim Hortons, but this is kind of... It's kind of good. I didn't buy it. That's why I'm drinking it. I do not buy Tim Hortons with my own money. My mom bought it for me. That's another thing. My family and I, I love them so much. We're doing great. Um, I think that's part of why I feel so good lately. Like, I just feel this, like, wholeness with my family that, I mean, I've always had a great family, but I don't know. Like, the past year, I just feel really good about it. Like, I just feel so close to them and so happy around them, and I love going home to see them and i just feel good like i don't have to talk to them every hour of every day to know that like we have a great bond and i just feel like we all mutually like work together to like keep our our family close which is nice um yeah like brenda and i it's been a year of us living together now no fucking complaints and i like my space no complaints like does she piss me off sometimes absolutely i will say that to her face brenda if you're watching this you piss me off sometimes but I probably pissed her off. <laughs> I'm the difficult one to live with, not her. I don't know how she's doing it. I don't. I don't. Probably because I cook for her. But she washes dishes, so it works. We, we have not gotten into a fight yet. I shouldn't say yet. I don't want to manifest it. We've lived together for a year. We haven't fought once. We've had little like moments of annoyance and frustration that last 10 seconds, and we kind of know, okay, I'm going to go to my room and close my door so that we don't like get on each other's nerves any more than we need to. Like, it never escalates, you know? We respect each other too much, and it's chill. If I know in a bad mood, I'll tell her I'm in a bad mood, and I'll close my door, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, it's been, it's been easy. It's been really easy living with her, so shout out to you, Brenda. You're easy to live with. Your boyfriend is very lucky. I don't know about my future partner. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll say some prayers for him, because, so anyways, yeah, um, work-wise, I got a job, a part-time job. I haven't started yet. I'm just waiting for my criminal background check to come in, and then I'm gonna start. I am not gonna work much. Like, I just wanna meet people in the city. It's on Queen Street, which is like a main, main street in Toronto. So it's like in a cool industry that I feel like I'll meet a lot of people in, and it's in a busy area. I, I know I'm gonna meet people there. Like, it's just a given, so I'm very excited. What else is there? I still have my car, even though I'm living in the city, so that's nice. I'm still going to therapy every Friday, and it's amazing. We've been unpacking a lot of shit lately to do with, like, my attraction to narcissistic personalities and things like that. <laughs> and I also lost a friend. Um, sorry, I say lost a friend like she died. She did not die. She did not die. Thank God. What? Why did I just say that? Oh, <clears throat> okay. I'm no longer friends with someone that I've been friends with for 12, 13 years. I don't know. That's been a bit of an adjustment. I mean, like, losing friends is not easy. I'm gonna do another video on friendship breakups because it's like heavy on my mind right now, so I kind of want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, uh, a close friend of mine and I, we decided that our friendship is no longer serving us at this moment in time. Maybe in the future. Who knows? As of right now, the compatibility is just I don't know if it's there, right? So we had to talk about that and we're no longer friends, which is weird, you know? It's weird. 13 years? That's a long time. But I mean, sometimes you got to choose yourself and I had to choose myself in this situation and I had to make a choice. And again, I chose me. So yeah, if I can do that after 13 years, you and your eight month friendships that are toxic, they can go, okay? I have a bathtub. I have my own bathroom in my room. Yeah, I have my own bathroom. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, especially because you can see everything from these windows. So I can't change in here because my windows are always open. Brenda's are always closed. Mine are always open. So I can just walk up in my bathroom and change. It's lovely. I don't have a walk-in closet anymore, but I'd rather have a bathroom over a walk-in closet. I thought I'd hate it, but I love it. What else is there? Um, it's almost Christmas time. My Drive With Me series is out on my other channel, and that's crazy. 
I don't know, like I met so many interesting people in that series. <laughs> I met interesting people in that series. You guys are like, why is she acting like that? I don't know. I do know, but I don't know. Mm. I made some friends. I'm actually going out tomorrow with the Pisces from the series. We're going for karaoke. We're mixing my friends and her friends, so I think it'll be fun. I don't know, something tells me the vibe will be good. I don't know why. We just have similar energies, so I feel like whoever she's around will click with whoever I'm around, and I'm excited for that. So we're going to karaoke. I fucking love karaoke. If you guys have any recommendations for karaoke songs to duet, let me know. I don't know, I don't wanna make this video too long because I wanna give you guys like better content than just like, oh hey, this is how I'm doing. I mean, if you care, thank you. Um, if you don't, I don't blame you, but I care. And I want to know how you're doing, so please leave a comment. A, it really helps me out. It really helps me when you guys comment. It boosts my engagement. It pushes my videos into the algorithm. And you know what they say. The YouTube algorithm has to be your fucking best friend for you to grow. Um, but I actually genuinely do want to hear how you guys are doing. It's been a month. Like, how is everyone doing? Tell me right now maybe something new that's happening in your life or like how you're feeling or like your mental health on a scale of 1 to 10. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, also, another comment that I would really appreciate from you guys, I'm planning on doing a video on my breakup. <laughs> and I would love to answer your questions. I'm not talking like, why did you guys break up type of questions. I'm talking about like, how did you deal with the heartbreak? Or how long did it take you to overcome? You know, I have questions about the heartbreak process or breakup process or toxic relationships or narcissism or, you know, things like that. So. If you are interested in that video and you have something you want to ask me about relationships, love, or anything like that, let me know and I will include it in the video. I will be filming that very soon. I'm hoping this week. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back. I have a few videos planned and I can't wait to just, just, I don't know, I, just, I can't wait to create content again. I can't wait for you guys to see my apartment and see my room and yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to let me know how you're doing in the comments. And yeah, I will see you whenever I see you. Bye, guys. <laughs>